is a Lindbergh tuna clipper model kit that I had when I was a kid and surprisingly they still make these and I found it at Ollie's and I <clears throat> bought it it was only about 15 bucks and when I was a kid I always wanted to have this boat as an RC boat but I didn't have the know-how so I glued a motor to the bottom of it tied a string to it would let it run around the creek and pull it back but now that I found these again I want to attempt to make it into a radio control boat so I'm going to show you some video and pictures and then some video of it running when it's done so enjoy Let's start with the back where the propeller shaft is and the servo. I made a little uh, latch here out of part of the tree from the model parts that holds everything, all the pieces together. That just turns and you can lift this off. I used a piece of the plastic from the model also to make this little hook. It hooks under the deck right here. There's the servo arm which is just epoxied to the bottom of the deck. That deck is glued in. It looks a little sloppy because I used white hot glue just to make sure if I ever had to get it out I could. For the propeller shaft I used a well a piece of this here for as you know RC servo arm controls. I cut a piece of that. Basically like a plastic piece, a soft plastic piece that holds like the antenna up for RC cars and things. I use that as the uh, stuffing box for the prop shaft. I JB welded, I drilled it a little deeper and JB welded the original propeller from the model on it. It actually does pretty well in the water. Then I JB welded the other end of the shaft into this wood dowel that I drilled a hole the size for that and then the white blob on there is hot glue that was put around to keep water from coming in. It was slowly pumping water in when it would run because the shaft is a little small for the tube. Even though there's grease in there, it's still getting in. Well, I put hot glue on it and spun it, and it kind of twisted it tight, but it still moves because I put grease on the metal part there, and no water gets through now. Now this part here, I actually have some magnets and I'll show you what I used for them. At the back there is uh, a metal kind of same type of hook that holds this one on, but this one's metal. But you just lift it on the front and on the side I glued these really strong magnets there and there's two on the deck and it just pulls them right down. They are actually from cabinet catches for cabinet doors the they're not the catches themselves aren't that strong but when you take them apart there's these two little small ones on either side of these big bigger pieces of metal this is one of the cabinet latches that I use to hold down the top part of the boat this alone isn't that strong otherwise it would be too hard to open a door on a cabinet but when you take it apart there's two pieces of metal on the end, a big piece in the middle, and the actual magnets are those two thin little pieces on either end behind the outer piece. They are incredibly strong and work great for holding latches and hatches down on RC vehicles. These guys are, I mean, it, they, it, it's holding through my finger. That's how strong it is. So just super glue them and you're good to go. I 
and it's kind of hard to see now. But the motor is back in there. It's kind of a mess. I just threw it. I used a speed controller for a brush motor. A 2.4. I used a brush speed controller from uh, an old RC plane. Um, uh, 2.4 gigahertz receiver and I had these old nickel metal hydride batteries laying around so I decided to use them because they still hold a charge really good there you can see the motor a little better and the wooden mount that I made and then I just used a metal u-bracket over that screwed it to it um, for the battery, there's just some Velcro strips in the bottom of the hull. They're white, so they're a little hard to see. Before she goes out on her maiden voyage, we're going to put the receiver and things in a balloon to protect it from water, if any water does get in there. Yeah, those magnets really pull it down. I'm using a DX4E from plane. gonna have to be run on like the lowest speed probably because this motor is way too big for this boat So overall I think it worked out very well. The battery was a little too heavy so I'm going to get a smaller battery. It was just a little too heavy in the bow and wanted to kind of roll a little bit, take water over because it's so small. The boat's only about 14 inches long so it has to kind of be a really calm day as well. No wind or waves. but. I think it'll be great for calm days in the summer in small ponds.